And I'm playing champions. Guess what we're going to do today? We're going to try an experiment and try to build a lookup function using a completely different example than you're used to in the in the uh, course. So this will give you some practice using lookup. Here's the use case. I'll let you pause the video if you want to read it. But what we have to do is we have to get these region percents into our stores right here. Okay, so the SVP, the regional SVP has set her targets for the region and she wants every single store that's in each of those regions to get that same percent. So let's start by creating our lists. We create two lists, region and stores. We need to have lists that contain these things. Don't forget to put in your top level, all regions, all stores. Let's open up regions. And let's insert two regions, region, oops, region one, region two. Okay. Now we've got two regions in our region file. That's exactly what we need. Let's go open up stores. All right. How many stores do we need? We need four stores. So we need store one, store two, store three, store four. All right. Now we've got four stores. And in our, go ahead and open up the grid view. Stores, we're just going to put, I'm just going to put in these codes. Doesn't really matter. You should put like the, like the real store number or whatever it is. But for today, I'm just going to put in these codes. We're not going to actually use them, but that's all right. Okay. So now I've got, uh, I've got my two lists that I need, region and stores. And what's the next thing you do? Always, after you build a list, we build our system module. So let's insert that system module. Sys01 is going to be regions. I remove time because I don't need that. Let's put regions in instead. I need my region list. Um, and that's pretty much all I need out of region from my system module standpoint. And I like to flip these around. Okay. Let's uh, build our formula real quick. It has to be a list. And that's going to be a region list and then we can just put that real simple formula in there item region okay let me test it make sure yep there's the two regions they're showing up perfectly now let's go build another module this module being really important as well we need a sys02 which is going to be our uh, stores properties I remove time I put stores in there and I need store and I also need region don't I I need to have region in there as a property so that I can relate stores and regions to each other now we could make this a parent child relationship but we're not we're going to keep this flat so that you can do <clears throat> that you see the lookup how that works and even if it was parent child you still have to use lookup uh, either way so let's put that in there all right let's go get the right formatting on this so store should be a list and we're going to use the uh, stores list on that and we're going to also use region this one we're going to leave editable so that we can tell Anaplan what the relationship is so for stores the formula is just going to be item stores right, so there's my stores and then for region I'm actually going to select them based on the way the use case asked us to do it now you could you could import these um, but since there's just so few of them I'm just going to select them so that we've got them. Okay, so now we know this region, or this store goes with this region, this store goes with this region, this store, this region. So now we have the region and store relationship in our system module. So the last thing we need to do now is set up our planning module. So let's insert another module. This one's just gonna be our regional percentages, right? And it's gonna be by region. And I just need to know what's the percent increase that the SVP, the regional SVP, SVP wants. So we can capture her interest in this right here. This is a percentage, so let's change the format, make it correct. Let's do one decimal place. There's the percentages. And I believe we have three per, or sorry, five percent for region one. 5% for region one and 3% for region two. All right, 
Now that 8% doesn't mean anything. So let's go in here and get rid of the summary. We don't need a summary on that. All right. The SV SVP has gone in. She's entered the 5% for region one, the 3% uh, for region two. Now we need to go to our store module, right? Our store planning module. And we need to say, okay, um, let's do our uh, store uh, percentages. Right? I'm going to remove time and put stores in here. And I'm going to say percent increase. Right? And now we finally get to the, we finally get to the, the uh, essence of the question here. So we got our decimal places. I just want one decimal place, percentage, okay. I don't want any summaries, turn that off. Now, finally, after all this, after six minutes, what is the formula that we need to put here? Okay, I wanna double click, make sure you're in edit mode right over here. You always tell Anaplan, what's the first thing you want? I want the percentage increase. So let's go to region percentages and say, I want the region percent. Click on that. Notice it puts it in the formula for you. I want to do a lookup, right? Because this is, I'm plucking one number out of that region. I'm bringing it down to the stores. And then I go to my stores system module where it has the relationship between stores and region. And I tell it, I want the region because the region is where that percent increase is coming from. So those dimensions must match and it brings it back to store. So let's click apply and voila, there it is. 5% for the first two stores, 3% for stores three and four. All right, practice this. It's really important. Make sure you get really good at it and make up your own example too to make sure that you, to reinforce what you've just learned. Okay, hope that helps and enjoy.